There were conflicting rumors this morning, and it looks like one of the conflicting rumors is surviving, and the other one is dying a slow, painful death. Oh, the rumors were because today is NFL schedule day. Rumors were that the Lions were going to host the Jets on Thanksgiving. That came from Diana Rossini, I believe, from ESPN. Um, let me double check that. Uh, she tweeted out that she was hearing that the Jets were going to play in Detroit on Thanksgiving Day. And then the New York Post tweeted out that they had learned from a leak that the the New York Jets were going to open the season at Detroit on Monday Night Football. Now, we said that at the end of um, the morning show. We kind of mentioned that. Since that time, Gator, one of the tweets had been deleted, which means the other one's probably true. The one that has been deleted is the one that says the Jets are coming to Detroit for Thanksgiving. Look at you, Colombo. So, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your Detroit Lions are going to open up on Monday night against the Jets at Ford Field. That's what it looks like it could be. Uh, now, an article. <laughs> I'm running with it, man. I'm running with it. Well, I like it. I like it because it runs counter to what other people have, have kind of said about this. Um, well, we go back. Uh, this is from a story in the Free Press uh, from March 26th where it quotes uh, Rod Wood and talking about the scheduling issues because of the Ed Sheeran concert on Saturday at Ford Field that is September 8th. Rod Wood said, we'll probably be away week one. Mm -hmm. Said it then. So yep. this runs counter to that, which is good. I yep. like that. Well, you like what? That they're playing on Monday night? Well, I always like they're playing on Monday night, although I'm not sure why the NFL wants to put the Lions and the Jets on a Monday night matchup. That doesn't exactly scream marquee matchup. You don't see the appeal? I, uh, I do Actually, not. the appeal is the Jets. Yeah, well, the it's, a New, York it's a New York team. I mean, that's that's 100%. But, they can, but the NFL can afford to do this on the first Monday night of the year because they do two Monday night games. Yep. So This is going to be the East Coast one. There's going to be a West Coast. Well, they want two East Coast teams in the first week and two Eastern time zone teams in the first week because they're going to start the game at 7 o'clock. And then they're going to have the 10-15 the start, and it's going to be you know Oakland at the L.A. Chargers. Yeah. Do you think the owner of the Jets? I just made that up, by the way. Do I think the owner of the Jets? Do you think the owner of the Jets has instructed his general manager to quote make a splash on draft day? Baker Mayfield at a Ford Field. Yeah, so that you get a quarterback and. Do I think Woody Johnson is demanding Baker Mayfield? I think it's one hell of a conspiracy theory. I'm just going with the whole draft day thing. Are we going to make see... a splash? Oh, from the movie. Yes. Oh, sorry. They wanted Bo Callahan. He yeah. wanted Bo Callahan. Anthony wanted Bo Callahan. Yes, he did. But once they figured out nobody went to Bo Callahan's 21st birthday party, none right. of his teammates went. And then he lied about it. Yes, he did. Uh, anyway, so I got to tell you, start connecting dots. Lions-Jets Monday night. Lions-Jets Monday night to open up the season. Okay. I'm going with it. Okay. Um, But here's the deal with the schedule release. We were talking about at the beginning of the show how the NFL is just a monster and how for the first time ever – there is going to be the draft held on over-the-air television. Fox, is Fox producing their own coverage, by the way? Is that, has that been determined? They're not piggybacking the NFL Network? Uh, they're certainly not piggybacking ESPN's coverage. So Fox is going to carry the first round on Thursday night, and Fox will do the second and third round on Friday night, and then ABC is carrying the rest on Saturday, rounds four through seven. Um. The NFL is such a monster. Tonight's schedule release gets a two-hour time slot on both the NFL Network and ESPN. Two hours. What? I, I mean, I, I get... I suppose if you have a network devoted to a league... That you, this is what you do. This is what you do. You, you turn everything that you possibly can into a TV show. Like cut day. <laughs> We'll go live from war rooms, from GM's offices and coaches' offices. They release players. I mean, this is what you do if you have a network dedicated to a season that runs three and a half months. Is you have to fill programming. But, I mean, can you envision yourself? I just want to know. Are you going to sit down and watch two hours of schedule release tonight? I don't think I'll watch two minutes of the schedule release tonight. Oh, I tell you. I. All right, hold on. 
Over under on how many minutes Kang watches. Oh. I'll set it. And we'll put a caveat. Okay, the caveat is, unless he's got some dinner plans or something. Right, right. If, but, if he's in front, if he's, if he's got home, the ability to be in front of a TV where he's got control over the TV. I'm going to go an hour and 15 minutes, over or under. Thursday night. Mm-hmm. What time, what time does the coverage start? Uh, coverage starts at 8 o'clock, I'm 8 till 10. I'm going to go under. You're going under the hour and 15 minutes. Kang, what's the likelihood back Can there? Can I give a reason why I think it's under? Absolutely. NBA playoffs. Uh, who's playing tonight? Let Doesn't me matter. At, let me look at he's, schedule. He's yeah. sick about the NBA, too. Yeah, but he's, I think he's sicker about the NFL. He is, but you, you combine no, the sickness. He's, and he's down with the sickness. Uh, I don't think these series are compelling. I think he might miss the beginning, some of it for Philly, Miami, but Portland, New Orleans, Golden State, San Antonio. He's not. He's watching hour and fifteen. I go over. Gator, you might have jarred something loose there, Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're on to some there. NBA doesn't even have to be compelling. I'm gonna watch it, and, and the games actually mean something other than a schedule release. But an hour, an hour fifteen, that's a good number. Yeah. I was going to say about an hour, so I'd go under right now, but I'll let you guys know the verdict tomorrow. I, I'd probably put in a good hour tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think it's a like to me. I'm probably putting in a good hour of this crap tonight, and I'm a little pissed. I know it's I'm crap. A little, I'm know. a little pissed about it. Right? I'm getting suckered into this thing, and I'm going to do it anyway. It's the schedule release, man. I know, man. I know, but it's football. It is football. <laughs> Look, we do signing day. We get carried away. There's, there's signing just, day's kind of fun. It schedule is. Schedule release. We've been talking about the draft for three months, man. The schedule release, you're damn right I'm going to watch. I'm, I'm putting in a good hour. You know, before the draft and before the players uh, go through training camp and everything, when they put the matchups out there, they're going to talk about who might win the game for They'll some reason. Of course. <laughs> you know, like, you they're going to they break it down like, ooh, Jets defense versus the Lions offense or whatever. You know, it's just stupid stuff that I'm going to listen to and yep, watch. They're going to analyze the hell out of it. Tampa's got a great chance to start off 5-0. and oh. I'm just yep. saying it right now. <laughs> they can go 5-0. and oh. Now, if they go any worse than 4-1, and one, they're in big trouble. Might want to trade for John Gruden. Especially if they draft Saquon Barkley. Um... By the way, Fox is simulcasting NFL Network's draft okay. coverage the first two days, but they will have Troy Aikman on to kind of you know, lead into the, uh, the their Fox touch with it. We just got a tweet from a listener, Jason, who writes us, week four, Monday Night Football, Lions at Pack, hashtag real or fake? Um, I don't know. I have not, uh, I have not heard. There is a, a screenshot that they sent us uh, on Packer letterhead. That says, has each week of the Packers schedule, somebody holding this this piece of paper says, week one, San Francisco 49ers at Green Bay. Week two, Green Bay at New York Jets. Week three, Atlanta at Green Bay. Week four, Monday night, Detroit at Green Bay. Have you seen this, Kang? This tweet the guy sent yes, us? Yes, I have seen it. Do you think it's real or fake? I'm going to go fake right off. Look at the guys. Look at the picture and look at the thumb. Yeah, I mean, it looks so photoshopped. I mean, anything can be photoshopped, even if yep. it looks real. We so just retweeted right it for people to see it for themselves. Yeah, I'm gonna go fake. You see a gator? Uh, you, have you retweeted? It's, yeah, I've retweeted it. It was tweeted to us, but I retweeted it. You can check it out. You can make your own call. I think week fake. 17 says these uh, cheesesteak egg rolls. So I think <laughs> it might be a menu too. I'm not sure. Winnipeg at Saskatchewan. Uh, all right. There's some new start times, by the way. Monday night football games are going to start at 8.15 instead of 8.30. Sunday night football is going to start at 8.20 instead of 8.30. And Thursday night football is going to start at 8.20 instead of 8.25.